to support the channel or get access to exclusive content, consider becoming a Patreon today at patreon.com bluetrek. People often engage in political games, despite claiming to value simplicity, honesty, and openness. They criticize others for being two-faced and untrustworthy, yet they themselves play similar games. This behavior may not always be intentional or malicious. Rather, it's a common pattern where people say one thing and do another. While the idea of being straightforward and transparent is appealing, in reality, most people tend to participate in these political maneuvers. In the 21st century, our values have become more extreme, focusing on honesty, being a good person, social positivity, progressiveness, social awareness. And concepts like social justice activism and virtue signaling. These ideals have intensified to the point where admitting to ambitions for power or career control may not sound favorable in conversations. We all desire approval and acceptance from others, aiming to blend in and be liked. This innate human drive leads us to adopt group values and present ourselves as virtuous, even though we rarely live up to such saintly ideals in reality. Everyone has a hidden side called the shadow, representing the dark aspects of human nature. This includes aggressive impulses, selfish tendencies, envy, and other less pleasant traits. As children, we naturally express this dark energy alongside our sweet and kind moments, because it's part of being human, part of our animalistic nature. However, as we grow older, we learn to suppress these darker aspects to fit in and gain approval in social settings like school or work. We push down these impulses and only show our pleasant side to others. But the dark energy doesn't disappear, it stays within us and can surface unexpectedly. This can manifest in manipulative behavior, passive aggression, or other indirect ways, as we try to navigate social interactions while concealing our shadow side. In our daily lives, we often encounter the manipulative and passive-aggressive sides of people without even realizing it. These behaviors stem from humans' innate desire for power and control over their lives. When they can't achieve this directly, they resort to indirect methods and games. However, we tend to ignore or hide these aspects of ourselves, preferring to believe that we are always good, kind, and wonderful. It's important to recognize and accept that we are complete human beings with both positive and negative tendencies. Envy, aggressive impulses, irrationality. These are all part of being human. Instead of denying or feeling ashamed of these feelings, we should acknowledge them without guilt. Being aware of these natural tendencies helps us understand others better and navigate social interactions more effectively. It's common for people to act hypocritically or pretend to be something they're not, but accepting our complexities allows us to be more authentic and compassionate toward ourselves and others. Don't be easily deceived by the initial impressions people give off when you first meet them. We all tend to put on a persona or mask over time, crafting an image that we think others will find likable. However, it's important not to suppress your true self so much that this persona becomes your entire identity to others. Instead, try to integrate aspects of your shadow self into your personality, creating a more balanced and authentic representation of who you are. For example, if you feel envy towards others, acknowledge that it stems from seeing people on social media flaunting perfect bodies, luxurious vacations, or impressive careers. Instead of letting envy consume you, use it as a prompt to reflect on your own desires and motivations. Strive to find a middle ground where you can appreciate others' successes, while also working towards your own goals without comparing yourself constantly. This approach fosters a healthier and more genuine sense of self. Instead of constantly comparing yourself to others and feeling envy, it's important to acknowledge these emotions and use them in a positive and productive way. Instead of letting envy consume you with negative thoughts or actions, use it as motivation to improve yourself. For example, if you envy someone's fitness or career success, use that envy to fuel your own progress. Instead of being critical or trying to harm others, focus on bettering yourself. Work on your health, pursue career opportunities, or strive for personal growth. Use envy as a catalyst to become more competitive and emulate those you admire. 
Additionally, remember that the image of perfection others portray may not reflect their true happiness. Recognize that your envy may be exaggerated, and those you envy might not be as content as they seem. Use this understanding to channel your aggressive energy into positive endeavors, whether it's self-improvement or supporting a cause you believe in passionately. Overall, don't deny or pretend to be without flaws. Acknowledge your feelings of envy or aggression, and find constructive ways to channel them towards personal growth and meaningful pursuits. It all comes down to how you perceive the world and your attitude towards it. There are many aspects of life that we can't control, such as not being able to afford lavish vacations or being born into wealth. However, there's a different perspective where you focus on the positive aspects. Instead of dwelling on what you lack, you can choose to be motivated to improve yourself or shift your mindset towards positivity. While you may not have certain material luxuries, you have the power to change your attitude, which is far more influential. By cultivating a positive outlook, you can prioritize what truly matters, find ways to progress in life, and develop a plan for success. Transforming your attitude from negative to proactive allows you to enjoy life, find joy in small things, and see opportunities for personal growth and happiness. Your attitude holds significant power, especially when it comes to finding purpose and meaning in life. If you believe that material possessions like an expensive car will bring you the validation and attention you seek, that's okay, but then you must take the necessary steps to attain those things. On the other hand, if you find meaning in spirituality, helping others, or pursuing different passions, redirect your focus from envy or jealousy towards what truly matters to you. By doing so, you can shift your perspective away from materialism and prioritize what brings you genuine fulfillment and satisfaction. After finishing college or school, you're often thrust into the working world without much direction or guidance. In the past, career paths were more structured, but now there's a vast array of options, leading many young people in their early 20s to feel lost. With endless possibilities available online, they can envision themselves in numerous roles like doctors, artists, poets, and more, yet they struggle to find their true calling. It's like being on a boat without a compass, drifting aimlessly in a vast ocean with no sense of direction. Eventually, this lack of purpose can lead to feeling adrift and even crashing into obstacles, because you're unsure of where you're headed. That's why finding meaning and purpose is crucial, it's the key to navigating life's journey effectively. Understand what brings you joy in life, what you're naturally inclined to create, and what sets you apart. How your body and mind are wired. It could be writing, social work, science, or anything that gives you a sense of purpose and direction. Having this clarity allows you to filter out distractions and focus on what truly matters to you. For instance, if your goal is to start a new tech company and you see someone with a fancy car, you can step back and realize that material possessions aren't your priority. What matters most is building and creating something meaningful. This understanding helps you prioritize your values and determine what's truly important to you. The key to this is self-awareness. Knowing your likes, dislikes, passions, and strengths. Without this self-knowledge, navigating life can feel aimless and confusing. 